Welcome to the free PBX Quick Start Guide presented by Vox Telesis. Today we're going to discuss how to properly configure Vox Telesis SIP trunking on free PBX. Trunks allow your free PBX system to communicate with the public phone system. Without trunks, you would only be able to make calls to extensions that are directly connected to your free PBX system. Before we get started, you will need the following. A fully configured free PBX setup a properly configured firewall, and SIP trunking credentials provided by Vox Telesis. We'll start by hovering over the connectivity menu. Click Trunks. Click Add Trunk. Click Add SIP Chan PJ SIP Trunk. Fill in the trunk name with the name of your choosing. Fill in outbound caller ID with the DID provided by Vox Telesis. Click the PJ SIP Settings tab Fill in username with the username provided by Voxtelesis. Fill in secret with the password provided by Voxtelesis. Fill in SIP server with the domain name provided by Voxtelesis. Click the Advanced tab. Fill in contact user with the username provided by Voxtelesis. Fill in the from domain with the domain name provided by Voxtelesis. Click Submit when finished. Don't forget to click Apply Config to ensure that all changes to free PBX have been saved. Once your trunk has been created, you want to verify that it is communicating with the Vox Telesis servers. To do this, we'll go ahead and hover over Reports. Click Asterisk Info. Click Chan PJ SIP Info in the right column. Under Chan PJ SIP Registrations, you will see the status of your trunk. If the status is registered, congratulations, you have configured your trunk correctly. If the status is rejected, there is an issue with your trunk and it is not communicating properly with the Vox Telesis server. If you end up with a rejected status, you can troubleshoot this issue by double checking your trunk configuration to see if it is properly configured. Also check the network configuration to ensure that your server can communicate on all necessary SIP ports. If you have any further questions, please check out support.voxtelesis.com.